This is another sign of the times, an analysis, and a commentary. Everything is connected, and everything is numbered. It's been the topic of some debate among solar system scientists. But analysis of new data from NASA's Voyager 1 strongly suggests that the probe has left the ecosystem of the Sun and entered true interstellar space. Like all stars, the Sun blows a bubble of energetic particles outward, forming, in this case, a roughly spherical envelope of plasma. At some point, scientists expected that the count of solar-propelled particles per time period would drop and they would see a spike in galactic plasma, indicating that the solar wind has been damped by the prevailing breeze of the stars beyond. That theoretical boundary, researchers call it the heliopause, has clearly now been crossed. In fact, the data indicate that Voyager 1, which was launched on September 5th, 1977, became humanity's first interstellar probe on or about August 25th of 2012 a 36-year odyssey through the solar system across more than 11 and a quarter billion miles. On its quest, as part of NASA's grand tour, it took many measurements and close-ups of the kingdoms of Jupiter and Saturn and a family portrait of the planets of which the much-celebrated pale blue dot photo is part. Sometime between 2025 and 2030, Voyager's tiny nuclear generator will no longer be able to power any of its instruments. Should it ever be found by another intelligent species, it carries a gold-plated multimedia disc with photos of life on Earth Spoken word greetings. Silema, amen. Paz e felicidade a todos. Želimo vam sve najlepše sa naše planete. And a mashup of music and sounds of its home planet. But the distance between stars is great, and the probe is not headed towards any of the sun's nearest neighbors. So it's most likely that the next beings to lay eyes on Voyager will be our descendants. Those that left Earth themselves. A truly extraterrestrial species. For Space.com, I'm Dave Brody. And all these things are the beginnings of a new age or era. Again, Genesis chapter 1. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. 2. And the earth was without form and void. And darkness was upon the face of the deep, and the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. 3. And God said, Let there be light, and there was light. 4. And God saw the light, that it was good, and God divided the light from the darkness. 5. And God called the light day, and the darkness he called night, and the evening and the morning were the first day. 6. And God said, Let there be a firmament in the midst of the waters, and let it divide the waters from the waters. 7. And God made the firmament, and divided the waters which were under the firmament, from the waters which were above the firmament. And it was so. 8. 
and God called the firmament heaven and the evening and the morning were the second day nine and God said let the waters under the heaven be gathered together unto one place and let the dry land appear and it was so ten and God called the dry land earth and the gathering together of the waters called he seas and God saw that it was good eleven and God said let the earth bring forth grass the herb yielding seed and the fruit tree yielding fruit after his kind whose seed is in itself upon the earth and it was so twelve and the earth brought forth grass and herb yielding seed after his kind and the tree yielding fruit whose seed was in itself after his kind and God saw that it was good thirteen and the evening and the morning were the third day fourteen and God said let there be lights in the permanent of the heaven to divide the day from the night and let them be for signs and for seasons and for days and years fifteen and let them be for lights in the permanent of the heaven to give light upon the earth and it was so sixteen and God made two great lights the greater light to rule the day and the lesser light to rule the night he made the stars also seventeen and God set them in the permanent of the heaven to give light upon the earth eighteen and to rule over the day and over the night and to divide the light from the darkness and God saw that it was good and all these are more signs of the times space travel and the colonization of other worlds is part of mankind's destiny.